this morning. At one point, we're a third Bell world City country. Protesters completely blocked access to Terminal 1 at the airport, and they blocked all lanes on the westbound 190. Enough is enough, and the U.S. government has really given us no choice but to disrupt business as usual. They chose April 15th for this protest because it's tax day in the U.S., their objective to bring attention to the war in Gaza and support Palestinians. For hundreds of air travelers, however, the point of the protest was lost amid their frustration with trying to catch their flights. Several spoke with ABC 7's Stephanie Wade as they got out and walked from the interstate to their terminals. I understand that people have the freedom to do whatever they want, but when it starts impacting me personally, it's kind of an issue. This woman walked carrying her child. That is the last thing you want to be doing. The Chicago protest is one of dozens in several countries around the world. In this country, in San Francisco, protesters blocked access to the Golden Gate Bridge. They held similar protests in places like Philadelphia, San Antonio, and Oregon. In Chicago, the protesters spent a few hours in a police wagon, hands bound together with plastic ties, before being processed and released. We um, made our point. We stood in solidarity with our comrades in Palestine, and uh, we certainly disrupted business as usual. The protesters say they're charged with misdemeanor.